Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Tea's Foam and Terrain and all that. And today we are doing something a little bit special, a little bit different, and that is another product review. Um, we don't do it very often, or I don't do it very often. Um, and uh, to be quite honest, uh, I'm pretty excited about this one. Um, as those who've been watching my Lord of the Rings 2 mil project will know, um, I, I am intending to use the uh, New Rules Strength and Honour by Mark Backhouse um, to, to, to drive the game um, for the, the Battle of Helm's Deep. Um, so I'm really pleased to, uh, I pre-ordered it on day one, um, and I'm really pleased to say that it has arrived, the, the rule set. So here it is in the flesh. I have a hard copy of Strength and Honour. So I thought today, why not do a product review of this? Um, won't necessarily be reviewing the game itself. I may well do that in later videos, but certainly for now, um, I just want to review the book, the actual product itself, um, and talk about um, the print quality and things like that. So without further ado, let's jump down to the workbench and uh, we'll have a look at this awesome rule set. See you in a moment. And welcome to the workbench. So here we have it, Strength and Honour, War Games Rules for Epic Battles in the Ancient World by Monsieur Le Marc Backhouse, or Mark Backhouse to his friends. <clears throat> so uh, first of all, uh, the, th the thing that I noticed when I, I took this out of the packaging was the beautiful shiny cover. I mean, the, the cover art is just fantastic. I really think it gives a great feel uh straight away to to the um to the rules and um gives you kind of a, an impression as what's to come uh so um you know lovely glossy cover um and on the back we've got a lovely picture as well of uh a picture from from obviously one of mark's games um i believe they're all uh figures that were made by mark um on in that picture um, and you can tell, you know, he, he's 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 put some thought and effort into this whole project, really, from start to finish. Um, and as somebody who uh, played one of the first games when he was sort of uh, looking at some of the concepts that he wanted to um, uh, kind of uh, follow uh, for the game, you know, it, it's really incredible to see it, its progression uh, from the, the, that first game, uh, for those early games. Uh, right up to this actually being published and out there in the public um, public sphere. So yeah, massive congratulations to Mark and 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 also to you know Richard Clark and his team that, that got this. Um, I know Henry Hyde was involved um, with the layout, and it's just a fantastic set of rules. Um, with no disrespect, it really does feel like a, a, a proper rule set. Um, and I think the quality of the book adds to adds to that feeling. Um, and when I when I say that, I mean quite often um, as, as somebody who's, who's published rules myself, you know, it, do, it sometimes it doesn't matter about the quality of the rules. There are lots of quality rule sets out there, but sometimes when um, rules are presented, um, that can change the feel of the quality of the rules. And and it is a shame because. Unfortunately, we, we often look at rules with our eyes first before we've had a chance to play them. And, and sometimes um, the presentation puts people off. Um, and I think uh, what Mark and, and Richard and Henry have, have done with this uh, set of rules uh, won't won't put people off. I think it'll actually inspire people to pick up the rules and have a look and, and, and have a game and, you know, go deeper into the rabbit hole. So... Um, yeah, let, let's take a look at the inside um, because it is, is you know, a really, really beautiful book. First of all, I'd like to point out, I think it's such a, a great touch, uh, the fact that um, Richard has put these uh, adverts in. There's, there's two on the front cover here um, and there's two inside the back cover. And it's really nice because actually, I you know, I, I think it's a great touch. The, these companies have really kind of, um, since Mark created the Facebook page, uh, you know, these guys have been making products and, and supporting the game um, ready for its release. Uh, and so it's really nice to 
and a really nice little touch to to include the, their adverts in this so you know well done to those companies and well done to rich for including them so first of all we've got we've got the acknowledgements and and i think you know the, this is great there's a particularly um you know a particularly touching um uh line in there uh paying tribute to uh terry shockey shockey i think his name is um you know the contribution that he made um and, and it is really sad that we learned the other week that you know he sadly passed away um and and didn't get to see the final the final product um but you know i i'm i'm, I'm sure he would be very proud of of um mark's efforts and 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 the rules uh, and how they've turned out so uh, yeah moving on um well then uh, we've got double page contents page which i know a lot of people are really keen on uh with rule books um and and this goes into uh breaking down um all the different sections that you'll need so hopefully you know if you are uh trying to find a particular part of the rule you can look at the contents and find that pretty quickly uh, the artwork, the pictures of the models uh, are, are really nice throughout the book um, and it just gives it that real feel and, and sort of suggests to people what these rules are about and what's the sort of intention uh, of the scale. Um, although it does make it very clear in the rules that strength and honour isn't just for the small, um, small scale figures. Uh, in fact, it, it does reference other scales as well, which is really great and I think it, it makes it very inclusive. Uh, for war gamers, um, even if they don't have that scale figure, uh, you know, it, 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 it helps people get into the game, which is great. Um, really wanted to point out, love the way that they've put the title of the, um, the different sections in these columns. Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say they're Corinthian columns, uh, Corinthian star columns. Um, I will be shot, of course, by Mark if I get that wrong, because... I did study A-level classics and should know that. But uh, anyway, the, the book really well uh, laid out. Um, beautiful pictures of, of figures to inspire, um, particularly like this uh, Trajan's Top Tips, which um, shows up throughout the book. Um, it's just a really nice touch and um, it uh, gives you that little opportunity um, to just pick up on, on some ways that... Um, are recommended to maybe uh, this one says don't get too hung up on base sizes uh, as the game works on a grid mechanism it'll happily play with two armies that are based in a slightly different way as long as it is clear which squares they inhabit and which direction they are facing mats are available with pre-printed grids often so discreet that they are not noticeable in normal non-gridded games alternatively players may draw a grid onto their plane area a dot in each corner is sufficient uh, to allow the squares to be identified but remain discreet marking every other square uh, so adding a dot every 15 centimeters where 7.5 squares are being used allows the four smaller areas within that to be easily identified and reduces the visual intrusion even further really nice little tip that um you know some people might be slightly worried about it maybe hung up on it a little bit uh, and these top tips are there just to kind of um you know make things a little bit easier for the gamer um all the all the text really nice size um i i, I like the font um really easy to read and really to, easy to follow through and um, they've obviously taken a lot of time in thinking about uh, the layout um and the, and the way the rules are broken down so really really good i'm not going to go through the entire book page by page because we will be here for a while but um you know just want to point out some of the graphics uh just things like this i, I think this was uh, um this is really clever the way they've they've got texture onto the on the square so it actually looks like you're looking at a table itself i think that's really clever um i particularly like um you know where they, they represent the command board exactly as you would see it when you print that out um and that's great that's so one of the points i also wanted to touch upon yeah, the maps that they've included really um really nicely done i think um and again uh sort of explains it he's even got the grids on there as well when you have a look so it is you know really detailed um i particularly like i know richard clark um i think had uh had something to do with these i, I he'll, he'll have to tell me in more detail but um 
these uh, diagrams with uh, blocks moving in places. I think that had something to do with him and I think they've come out really well and they look really nice as well. Um, you know, so overall the, the, the rules are well presented, laid out very logically and um, easy to follow along. And um, yeah, uh, I, I'm really impressed with it. Uh, I think, I think you know, it, it, it's a rule set that I will probably play quite often, particularly as you know, you can have your armies in a in a very small space in terms of storage. You can get them uh, made very quickly, which I hope to show in further uh, videos when I look at the armies of the uh, Rorg's Drift game. And um, in terms of playing space, you don't need a, a big space either, which is which is great. Um, some more lovely pictures of of some of the camps. Um, so yeah, all in all, a really really nice set of rules. It has uh, army lists. Uh, I believe there are. 10 of them in total let's just zoom to the end no i got that wrong there must be 15 oh no see that's well how well i paid attention yeah there we go right so 20 army lists in total and then there's a historical battle section which has 10 that's what i was getting confused with uh, 10 historical scenarios for you to play through um these rules also have a campaign system in them as well which i don't know whether i've already skipped um but let me no i must have already skipped it at the back then we've got the disaster and the setback cards which you could photocopy and print out so that you don't have to cut your book up um or i think they were available in pdf form um i don't know if they still are but that would be worth checking out the two fat lilies website for that um but yeah my rating really really good i really like how well this has turned out um if you haven't bought your copy already Go check it out. Um, uh, Two Fat Lilies website if you're in the UK or outside of the EU. Uh, if you're in the EU, I believe you can get them through one of the publishing companies, uh, the one that does um, War Games Soldier and Strategy. So I'll look that up. I'll put the link in the description below. Um, but yeah, that's Strength and Honor uh, by Mark Backhouse. And um, do, do go check out the rules. They're really good. Um, and hopefully we'll do a battle report in another video. So until then, uh, usual stuff, like, subscribe and comment. And uh, we'll see you very soon in another video. Take care.